hello guys welcome to my channel i hope the last week video you guys really enjoyed so this whole forest traders so mostly my name is Ede Eloma Janke and i'm a business executive officer with a brokerage company and also a forest trading school so today we want i want to talk more about how do you make money in forest trading forest how do you make money trading forest apart from that where is that the money comes from people ask kind of confused they don't really know and if any anytime they place a trade they see a blue and they see something like a, a blue and a red they're moving fast so people don't really know any idea okay let me make a simple shot the red secret mean that you are in loss if your trade is still running the blue still mean that you are making profit if your trade is still running so by the end of the day if you hit your tp and your trade is in blue it means that you make profits. But if you hit your stop loss and then your trade is in red, it means you make some loss. But people don't know exactly by the end of the day how much they make. Like they see zero points, zero point zero two cents, or they see they, they sometimes they see one dollar, two dollars. So they don't know any idea how how it works. So first of all, how do you make money trading forex? How do you make the money? How do you make how, how do you make money trading forex? Yes. Most of people have been asking this question. How do you make money trading for us? Simple by trading. Simple by trading. That's the first rule. We make money in us simple by trading. That's the first thing. Now, when you trade, first of all, I always advise you to do that. Anytime you're coming to trade, always have a trading plan. Know what you are doing. Either you are buying or selling. Regarding the pet you are using, either you are using a real USD pair or you are using GP USD pair. So you need to look at that. Always have a trading plan. Know what you are doing before you place a trade. So we make money by trading, by choosing a pair like Euro USD, GP USD, UJ, NZD USD by trading. So when you have your trading plan, let's say you make your analysis. You make your analysis. I will want to help people to so have a fair idea of how this works. So let's this is the market and this is the dates. And this is the price. And let's say you are trading USD GPY. Okay, you do your analysis and you realize that the price you do a downtrend. A downtrend, and you want to buy from let's say one point one point two seven nine. That would be the entry price. So what you target is like okay. Let's say you say okay. This analysis you want to sell. You can the market to open analysis. You say you want to like you want to sell your So at the price, at this price, at one point, at one point two seven, that would be the entry price. So your TP, your take profit, that is the best was at 1.1.9. But your stop loss is 1.2.0. Let's say that. And at your trade, you are using the one point size. On your size for your trigger volume, that's what you are using with an account of let's say 5,000 US dollars. That's your that's the amount you are using to trade with the one red size. So let's calculate the number of pips you get on the end of the day. So this is the entry price, and you are selling which is the JPY at, at a TP of 1.10. Let's say that. So your calculation is still simple. So you minus the 1.120 minus 1.10. That will give you how much? It will give you 100 pips. 
for your team. Take profit for your take profit. And your stop loss will be your stop loss will be 1.220 minus 1.201. Now that will be almost eleven. So eleven pips. Eleven pips for your team. So let's say that the market will go into your direction and you your analysis is right. But then the day your profit that you make, the profit you make, the profit you make, your profit you make by the end of the day will be the number of pips with hundred pips times your lot size, which is one. So the profit will be hundred pips times one lot size. One lot. That will give you hundred dollar. Let's keep this. We can all have the same analysis with the same tips. What will give you the money if I use what if you use one one lot size? If you use one lot size and I use zero point one lot size, I'll get ten dollars. If someone uses zero point zero one, the person will get one dollar. So the money trading first of all having big money for us. A simple trading, trading a particular pair that you choose, multiple pair, one or two or three pairs that you choose. But is the number of pips and your volume you use that will determine how much you be gaining at the end of the day. So let's say that if the market doesn't go in your direction and it is your stop loss, so you're, you'll be losing, let's say, you'll be losing, looking at it, you say 11 pips, right? 11 pips, right? So you'll be losing how much? For someone who uses one lot size, the person will be losing your loss will be sorry guys. Your loss your loss will be eleven pips times one lot size one lot. That will give you eleven dollars. Someone who use someone who use here zero point zero one to trade will lose one point one dollars. If you use one plot size, you'll be using eleven dollars. But someone who uses zero point zero one, zero point one will lose one point one dollars. Someone who uses zero point zero one will lose zero point zero point eleven cents. Let's say that. So guys, always keep this in mind. How do you make money in forex by simple trading? A particular pair that you choose is the your number of pips that you choose during your analysis. And the loss that you are using determine what you should be making by the end of the day if the market goes in your direction. But always, always keep this in mind. The more you use a higher lot size, if you don't know what you are doing, you may be losing more. Because we have people who usually use 10 lot size. 10 lot size. One lot size is almost $100,000 for standard lot size. So if you are using, let's say, 10 lot size, just imagine how much, if the market doesn't go in direction, how much you'll be, be losing. And so people don't really know this, that the stop loss is so wide, so big, the number of pips for the stop loss is so big, and the number of pips for the TP is so small. But then they, they, they don't understand the reason why they lose more and they gain small, even you losing a, a very big lot size. Right. The, 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 fear of, the fear of losing fast make us sometimes use a lot, <laughs> a very big lot size. But you need to keep in mind, the more your lot size, the more your lot size is big, and the more your stop loss is 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 well, is your pips, your your stop loss peaks are are many. The more you lose money if the market doesn't go in your direction. So always use not more done not more done for the advice i will give for people who do a day trading to not use more than 50 pips for your stop loss <laughs> using a, a using a trading with a one day time frame or four hours time frame always do that guys so it really helps you i hope this that i did you guys really understand what i did today we talk about how do we make money in forest with trading forest simple by trading a particular pair, either commodity or currencies. 
So you choose either a currency, gold, US, USD, gold, or US silver. That's how we make the money. So by simple targeting a particular page using a particular lot size. So we can all use the same number of pips, but the lot size will determine how much you'll be making money on the day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. So this video will be on my YouTube. So if you have any question at all, can you call me on 050 for those who are in Ghana, 050 147 company that The company that I work with, we are, we are ready to help you for everything. So if you have any question, you can candidate out. So I hope this that we did today really help people. I hope if you have any question, just ask me. Thank you guys and enjoy your day. Bye.